Welcome to this demonstration where we will be showing how the synthesized TDK can provide automated remediation for data that is classified as sensitive by Big ID. First of all, let's take a look at our hardware setup. We will be running our dedicated instance on a machine with two gigabytes of memory and two virtual cores. Even though this is pretty low end hardware, it will more than suffice for Synthesize to process medium and even large amounts of data. Enough setup and on to the data. For the first run, we're going to use this customer 20 table, which as the name implies has just 20 rows and is structured very similarly to many customer tables. It has a name, address, and phone columns, which will be detected by the big ID classifier and based on which big ID rules you have, we'll declare our table as sensitive. Now let's see how this table is represented in the big ID interface. And what attributes are associated with it. So here at the table, we can see that it resides in an MS SQL instance and is associated with the synthesized input data source. Now we have already run a scan on this table. And as you can see, there's an email classifier already assigned to the C email column. And looking briefly at the data itself, we can ensure this column really contains emails. Now we can also see this special tag default medium, which means that our table was assigned the medium level of sensitivity. This is set based on our sensitivity categorization. So here is the query and it triggers whenever we find this email classifier attached to a data object. In this particular example, a table in our database is considered sensitive with the medium sensitivity level. Now we are going to run our TDK instance, transform the data and see how the output will be different from the input and what that means. So back to our TDK instance and let's look at the configuration that is used by the TDK to interact with the Big ID instance. The most important part of this configuration is the classifier mapping. Here, it says that for sensitive objects at the medium sensitivity level, whenever you find this email classifier in any of the, those objects, apply a transformation that produces what's called a format preserving hash. Now we will go ahead and execute the transformation. Let's take a look at the output data in our database. So you can clearly see that this table also contains 20 rows, but this time the data is different. The format preserving hash has respected the underlying at sign in the originals, but produced irreversible hashes for the individual username and domain components. We've now successfully created a synthesized table. Let's go inspect the big ID instance again with the new content. Now we're going to get back to our Big ID instance and see the changes in the catalog by running a scan for all classifiers to be fully detected on our output data. So we can see that the synthesized output data source now contains identically named table, which also contains email. It also bears these special tags, synthetic true, and the data in the output is actually our synthetic data. So here are the emails. So what we can see is that this special tag was not assigned to the input object. It was created by the synthesized TDK. After we rescan the data, we still can see that no sensitivity is associated with the output table. That's because we've configured our sensitivity query to exclude tables marked with the synthetic tag, which was created by the TDK run. 
To avoid Big ID classifying the newly created tables as sensitive because of their similarity to the original, we exclude these tables from sensitivity categorization using the aforementioned tag. Let's see how the TDK could be used to process much larger tables. For that, we're going to use the customer underscore 100 table, which has a structure identical to the previous input table. However, this time, as you may have guessed, it contains 100,000 rows. Now we run the same process against this much larger table. This process should take about 15 to 20 minutes with the lower end hardware we have provisioned for this demo. The TDK is capable of performing large scale data operations with a very small footprint. The data is now there and the transformation has completed. So let's rescan the table again. Now we see that the output table and emails were found. The synthetic tag was applied. However, there is no sensitivity tag for the same reason that was explained during the first run. Another common scenario is solving the problem of not having enough input data to accomplish a particular test, a really common scenario in performance and load testing. The TDK provides a generative mode to allow for this. To demonstrate this, we'll be using another customer table with 10,000 rows. In order to enable am amplification, we will need to alter our TDK configuration. The first, one, the first one is switched in mode from masking to generation. The other change increases the target ratio from one to five. Generative mode, especially when amplifying data, can be time consuming, so please be patient. Let's check whether we have new data in our output table. Again, the email being generated looks like an email. Let's check the count. and we have successfully generated a totally synthetic data set of 5x the original. Now, let's get back to our big ID instance and rescan everything. So in our catalog, let's add this output and we see that synthetic true classifiers are there. Let's reapply the sensitivity classification and we'll make sure that it does not mark the output, the synthetic output is sensitive. And so with one final check for the synthetic tag, and you can see that it's working properly as the other examples.
Thank you for watching our demos.